So hey guys, uh, we're at KMD Ironman Copenhagen race week. It is the 418 4 and we're at the swim out at the moment watching these amazing athletes make their way out of the water. They're swimming 400 meters, then biking 18 kilometers and then running four kilometers to finish it off. This is a great place for the athletes to learn their trade, uh, get a little bit of a feel for how triathlon works. And the cool thing is that they actually get to do it on the action Ironman course using the same transition and bike out and swim start area, which is pretty cool. So well done everybody for racing the 418.4. How cool is this? So this is where it all wraps up for the 4.18.4 with uh, some athletes still starting their uh, swim and others are finishing on the finish line which is just behind me. What a brilliant experience watching these guys get out there, swim their 400 meters and some of them, well, some of them had to take it really slow and very careful and were very happy by the time it ended. And then of course bike that 18 kilometers and finish on the Yamaga strand behind me, which is just absolutely stunning. So well done, everybody. Well done. Your race uh, is done for today. There's another 4.18.4 coming up tomorrow. And then, of course, on Sunday, it's KMD Ironman Copenhagen time. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Look forward to chatting to you again. Stay close. Welcome to the KMD Ironman Copenhagen Expo. It is registration day. This place is quiet now, but in a little while from now, there's going to be thousands of athletes from over 50 countries going to be walking in and registering here. While you're at the Expo, though, there is so much for you to get your hands on. There's uh, great sunglasses. There's great running shoes. There's various brands of wetsuits. There's tri suits. There's bike mechanic in the corner over there. We have the Continental car. Continental, of course, is involved with our run course. And when you head over to the car, you need to put your name on the car. And I found out something interesting. This is the lead car on Sunday. So your name, your signature, is going to be at the front of the race throughout the whole race. How cool is that? Uh, also, while you're here, you've got all the athlete services located right at the back. And don't forget, you can pick up new wetsuits, new goggles, new uh, swim gear. Pretty much everything that you could ask for in an expo, expo is happening right here at the KMD Ironman Copenhagen Expo. So here we are at the KMD Ironman uh, Copenhagen Expo and we are hanging out with the official shoe sponsor of Ironman Europe. It is Hoka One One. And I had to make sure that I said that right. You can see I'm actually wearing the cap, which is cool. Uh, the guys here gave me a cap. Come and have a look at these shoes. Though. So if you're racing on Sunday, you are going to need a good pair of shoes, right? And Hoka One One are the place to go when it comes to shoes. For instance, we have a look earlier at uh, the top of the range shoe that is designed for every athlete to make you run more comfortably. If you pronate, it's gonna help you run more correctly. Uh, a good shoe is gonna help things like the knee joints, the hip joints, and uh, a full marathon at the end of 180 k's of biking, you need a good shoe. So Hoka One One is the place to go. What they do have though, and we didn't talk about this the first time, we're very excited to talk about it now, is they have a recovery shoe. Just come over here for a second. And I hope I don't get into trouble, but I'm just gonna take one of these. Look at this. Post race, slip off the running shoe, slide on this and we tried these on earlier this is seriously like walking in heaven it's like walking on clouds you've never seen anything like it post-race recovery shoot pop your foot in that and you're gonna feel great okay one one the official iron man shoot partner here at the KMB iron man company Okay, so we're standing at the Ironman merchandise shop. This is one of the coolest things about the European tour. Everywhere it goes, they bring the merch with them. Yes, I'm shopping. I know I'm supposed to be working, but I'm shopping. I can't help myself, right? You want to have a look at what's inside merchandise. Not only do they have amazing candy Ironman uh, Copenhagen merch, but they've also got generic craft gear, which is great. They got the trucker caps, they got socks, because I came all the way to Denmark with only two pairs of socks. So I needed to get some more socks. So I got myself some, some more socks as well. Come and check out the merchandise. It is loads and loads of cool stuff right here. And it's all super cheap. Just ask this guy, he'll tell you. It's cheap. Extremely cheap. Cheap. Except if you're South African. No, I'm kidding. It's cheap. <laughs> Okay, so something that you're not often going to see is something that looks like this. I just want to, just for a second, I want to show you something. Look at that. Swim, bike, run, finish a champagne. Why should the pros be the only ones that get the champagne? Isn't that right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Everything that has been training for one year should be able to have a champagne when they get to the finish line. 
Okay, so where did the idea come from for Finish of Champagne? I mean, it, it, I've never seen this. I've been to so many races around the world. I've never seen this. Where did the idea come from? The idea comes from that uh, we made this company in order to support children and young with diabetes. And everything that we earn from this company is going directly to uh, this diabetes foundation. Okay, so you're, you're, you're selling the Finish of Champagne and then it's supporting children with, with diabetes? Completely right, yes, that is it. So we're at the expo at the KMI in Copenhagen and we're hanging out with the team from Oakley. This is Antina and uh, you, I see you didn't just bring a stand, you just drove your vehicle. Right? Yes. That's a good way to do it. You got like a big sound system in there, you've got some videos playing yeah. and you've got the glasses in the back. Uh, so we were talking about all the cool things that you can do at the expo. This is definitely one of them. Your pre-race and perhaps post-race massage. Have a look at this. Look at this. People are loving it. Well, I must say, like, if I had a massage as good as this one, I don't think I'd race on Sunday. I'd probably just go straight back to the hotel and sleep for the rest of the weekend. So come and get yourself a massage. It is the expo at the KMDI Man Copenhagen 2018. And I've done everything. And they call it work. So exactly one hour to go for registration today if you're racing this weekend this is where you need to be you've only got one hour to get it done so make sure you come along to our awesome registration team they're ready and waiting for you and it's one hour to go and then registration closes for today go and get registered the earlier you register the more you can relax and enjoy your time in Copenhagen and come and race with us on Sunday one hour to go register now so we welcome our all-world athletes to the KMD Ironman Copenhagen and wow, uh, being an all-world athlete not only gives you a chance to rank yourself internationally, but you also get all sorts of perks. One of them is uh, your own check-in at registration, your own line at the, at the bike registration. But here in Denmark, what they like to do, they like to take the all-world athletes on a boat cruise to see the city. That's pretty cool. Thanks all-world athletes. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be on this boat cruise. Thanks, thanks for thanks for the hard work. Yeah, I know. I know I'm a hard boss. Yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. It's like a slave driver. It's ridiculous. It's like a pharaoh in Egypt. Work, slave. You will go on this boat cruise. So the work that we do at Iron Man is very hard work. It's, it's a lot of hard labor. There are so many things that we need to do that are very physical and very difficult to do. No, I'm kidding. I mean, come on. This is work at Ironman. We're now on a beautiful boat cruise and our guide has been telling us all about the history of Copenhagen and, and how it all came about. And, and it's just beautiful. I mean, this is like living in a postcard. It's like living in a postcard. It's really beautiful. And today's cruise is all about our all-world athletes. And uh, so well done to the KMD Ironman Copenhagen team for spoiling the all-world athletes, bringing them out here and showing them Copenhagen by river. Now, one of the things that made Copenhagen so interesting is it's a major city that you can see by river, by boats. I mean, there's no other city in the world, barring one or two, maybe Venice, uh, where you can do that. It's just, it's just phenomenal, beautiful. Maybe just for a moment, you can turn the camera and you can see what we're seeing. We're seeing one of Europe's most beautiful cities by boat. It's just phenomenal. some talent here today. There's some really good athletes. They're all jostling for that front position. Everybody wants to be in the front.
So it's KMD Ironman Copenhagen race weekend. The Iron Kids has just finished and it's now time for the athletes to check in their bicycles. We have 3,000 athletes from 55 nations around the world and one of those nations is beautiful people from Japan. We love having Japanese people at our races because they're smiling, they're friendly and they're fast. So join me here and the guys from Japan. How are you doing? Yeah. Good. Good. How are you doing? How are you doing? What's your name? Uh, Yuki Takamori. Okay, Yuki. Yeah. So tell me about uh, your race preparations. Uh, you're excited for tomorrow. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I practice very hard in Japan. Yeah. Every day. Thanks for watching this YouTube video and to all those who've subscribed, thank you to you and thank you for sharing the channel as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the bottom down below and click subscribe and also click the bell for notifications. Always striving to bring you some great content and there's more to come.